Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly reading. No, it's not a coffee cup because I am on vacation. I didn't have time to pre-record one, long story short. So I didn't want you to mess, miss a weekly reading, so I did what I do my gemstones with. Okay, so this is a reading for the week of July 26th, very general reading. What are we seeing here? Home, foundation, something's in the gray. So we will go over that, which to me shows finding joy and happiness and celebrations. A negative cycle here. Doubts. Again, we're dealing with that kind of energy, creativity. Um, there is a personal tower, but it's in the upright. So some of you have already been through it. But <clears throat> there's going to be some changes and significant seasons here. Love, joy, happiness. It's all there for you. Okay? Now, there is interesting messages here. One, I do see a reason to celebrate. Okay? When I see their, this energy, this is why. I know we're seeing negative stones, right? But this is what I'm seeing. There will be many good reasons for joy without the need of maybe a formal occasion or the use of, you know, like, oh, we only celebrate when there's a birthday. Oh, we only celebrate. This is a celebration um, can be any type. This could be reaping the rewards of an effort, um, marking a time for... I don't know, um, good news coming in, memory of a loved one, birth of a new life or project, um, long-held dream. Many forms come through celebrations. Um, if you're caught in this addictive chase of leading um, life based on the projected only like future of happiness, this is now a good time then to simply give thanks for the like, I want to say the, you know, the simplest little things, perfections of all the things that you see today in the present moment, um, reflecting on also this in this, in the, it shows that maybe you made some good and bad choices, but they have all led you to this point. There is, um, I want to say like a hindsight to this that's going to, I don't know, reveal the ways you have been guided, shaped by maybe unforeseen, see something's hidden there, unforeseen uh, forces that helped you enrich some things and grow and understand a life a little bit more. See, this it's right all next to a personal tower. Um, I want to say that to those who are enduring difficult times, um, where there seems like there's no hope, there's no change for the better. There is a strong message here that you need to, you know, happiness is um, a choice. You have to actively seek happiness, joy, celebration, regardless of the circumstances, okay? Um, because wealth and happiness comes from within. It's not, you know, you know what I mean? So celebrate the simplest things in life. So for some, there will be a significant celebration. For others, are going to just see the simplest little things and appreciate them. So I see that kind of celebration. Now, I do see connecting to the natural nat nature is going to be very important, okay? So it's like take five minutes to go outside. Um, take natural rem remedies. Maybe these epiphanies will come through. Ap appreciate nature. There's something there that is showing up there. Now, this is also telling you not to stretch yourself out too thin, um, these could be your resources. This could be just emotionally um, or money-wise. Um, you know, watch the spending, okay? It's a time to economize better. Clearing the space for the future, seeing that kind of energies, okay? So there is a pause here. Now, I do see something like for some of you, maybe this is um, um, changes of perspective, there's been maybe the past few months you've uh, had like internal battles, battles with others, changes of perspective that is coming up. Um, people that or situations that you cut out of your life or left your life, they may be kind of coming and surfacing. 
Um, there is that energy too. So pay attention to nature and your surroundings. All of that is very, very important. And who is around? Who brings negativity to you? Who who brings you happiness? This is the time to do it now. I do see there is like an earthy energy too. This could be dealing with a, a Virgo this week or someone who exhibits those energies, but that could also be your everyday work and, you know, the energies of work um, of Virgo too. I do feel you've got a lot of uh, people um, and a lot of help around you too. So if you need something, ask for it, reach out. Um, there are some fears and doubts that you're dealing with here. But I do see that um, you're getting stronger in some certain situations, and this is really going to um, bring you some kind of, um, I don't know, um, put, a, put, a, put a cap on some of the worries that you have. Um, get the rest this week. This is a time to um, silently contemplate so your health and well-being is showing up. Um, there's a sense of recovery here, too. New beginnings are coming through, too. A burden may be lifted as well. Um, celebrations. There is going to be either a get-together, maybe someone you haven't seen in a long time. I do feel that energy as well. Um, so there is um, some celebration this week for some of you, okay? Um, you make that choice, though, okay? You've got some decisions to make, too. Um, it's like you're holding something back. Maybe you want to say or express something or you want to, um, maybe you're missing someone and you want to call someone or if you if you feel like doing it, then make that decision and do so. Um, it may make you feel better because it's very nice loving energy coming through too. Very interesting reading. All right, uh, Sagittarius, that was your reading for the week of uh, July 26th and catch you back next week for your next reading. Have a great week. Bye for now.